Okay, if they're if they're not big rain fans, they might not be too happy today. But yeah. uh, more more good tulip weather is coming. Yes, I was saying this is probably the worst day for Core to be out there and share <laughs> what we're seeing. So much sure. rain on the way, but yeah, like he also mentioned, beautiful conditions coming this weekend. So uh, we cannot uh, beat the forecast for our Easter weekend. Maybe a good weekend head out there uh, and see all those tulips when we bring back the sunshine. But here's the forecast the next couple of days. Yeah, we're under thunderstorms and showers this afternoon through Thursday. It's already a very soggy morning out there. So prep for the rain and uh, bring the boots. It's going to get muddy in those fields if you do head out there the next couple of days. Friday does dry out. That'll be an okay day, likely still muddy, but uh, we start to taper down the rainfall as we hit the end of the week. There's your peek out to McMinnville from the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, uh, just a bit west of Woodburn, and you can see all that rain falling out there. We're seeing it in Portland, and it will stick around all morning long. It'll, again, turn light and then heavy at times this morning, kind of off and on heavy to light rainfall. So uh, be careful on those roadways. Expect rainy conditions and grab the rain jacket for today. There it is, that widespread rain shifting in. A little bit lighter right now around Portland, but out over the coast range, uh, we are seeing that heavy rainfall really setting up soggy conditions for the coast range and those higher elevations. No snow up there. Uh, and we're also seeing that for the foothills of the uh, Washington Cascades and still tracking snow up on Mount Hood too. The system, thankfully, is cold enough to bring snow for the mountains, which we like to see at this point in the year. So we'll keep that snow up in the mountains, but the culprit is this large low spinning offshore. There's that center of low pressure. And soon to come will be that cold front that moves in this uh, later morning. And when that cold air arrives, we'll start to bring in that chance for thunderstorms that might develop by the afternoon today. So let's time things out here on our future cast. Widespread rain shifting in. There's that cold front. So that rain turns quite heavy as we head towards about 8 o'clock for the coastline, maybe a little bit earlier. Now in Portland, the rest of the morning, again, I think we're going to see moments of light rain then maybe some heavy pockets of rainfall. It's not until we hit maybe 9, 10 o'clock that we're back under that heavy heavier bout of rain as that cold front slides on through. So expect to see soggy conditions at some point across the morning time. I also think we'll get some drier breaks to this afternoon after the cold front exits the region this afternoon. Uh, again, we could see some drier breaks, maybe some sun breaks in there too, but that's when we also develop thunderstorms. So we turn into this wacky pattern of sunshine, clouds, maybe some heavy downpours, rainbows and thunderstorms. That again sets up this afternoon through Thursday Thursday as that cold air moves in. So take a look here overnight and into uh, Thursday morning. Just these bands of thunderstorms continue to move in. So we'll see these pockets of very heavy rain possible. And again, thunderstorms might be embedded in there too, where we could have some lightning and some small hail. That continues all afternoon on Thursday as that low continues to spin right offshore here. And these bands of thunderstorms move into our region. So heavy rainfall at times today. That thunderstorm potential does include Portland. I see the best window for thunderstorms likely after lunchtime today. So we're going to watch that radar very closely. Also with the rain and the storms, we'll likely see some gusty winds too. The winds will start to strengthen this morning. Maybe some gusts around 20 miles per hour by the afternoon, closer to 25 or 30 miles per hour. That also goes for the coastline too. And then on Thursday, also tracking some strong winds in the area from the south. So a blustery next couple of days. Again, rainfall this morning, showers and thunderstorms this afternoon through Thursday. Finally on Friday, we start to dry out. I do think Friday afternoon will be pretty nice again in the region. Then we hit the weekend and we're back under lots of sunshine and just a beautiful forecast shaping up for Easter. Warm temperatures too as Portland rises back into the mid to upper 60s. All right, thanks Kelly. Take a look.